Hello Internet, I'm Steve from Fun Twist Balloon Animals. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this pig hat. Uh, welcome back to my tutorials. I know I've been putting these videos up sporadically. Um, I hope to do a few more real, real soon. Um, I've just been very, very busy. Uh, to do this hat, we're going to need four balloons. Uh, I, I'll be using pink. You can make your pig any color, but pink is pretty standard, pretty classic for them. Um, you'll want four of the pink 260s and two uh, white five inch rounds for the eyes. To do our pig hat, um, we're going to be basing it on a kite hat design. Uh, Michael Floyd does this design. Um, he has a video on his site, balloon-animals.com. I'll link that below um, in the description. Uh, like and follow his channel. He has a lot of great tutorial videos. Um, I learned a lot of my basic twisting from him really early on. Uh, for our first bit though, we're going to be inflating a 260 up to about three fingers of a tail. There we go, I've got about three fingers of a tail on my balloon. Let a little bit of air out and tie it off. Do a squeeze. You'll measure this balloon against your forehead or the forehead of the person wearing the hat. You want it wide enough so that it comes to either side of the head. Pinch it off there and twist. Then make a pinch twist. twist, if you want to measure, you'll put it on your head and bring the balloon all the way back around to the back of your head and just past the center point at the back of your head. You'll want to twist again there. Or the head of whoever's wearing it. Make another pinch twist. Squeeze it down again so it's soft. Then you'll match this bubble make another twist. Make one last pinch twist. Take the nozzle and wrap it into that last pinch twist you just made. This is extra and we'll break it off in a moment. Take your second balloon and inflate it to four, uh, four or five fingers of a tail. Wrap it in where this excess bit is coming off. Wrap your nozzle around a few times so that that isn't going to come undone when you break this bit off. You can tie this or you can just wrap it in. Now, for the second stage of our kite hat base, we're going to bend this down and measure about two-thirds of the way in, twist it off, and make a pinch twist. Match this bubble, and twist it into the pinch twist on the other side. should have this coming up around the base of your kite hat and the balloon should come out. You'll want to match this bubble again and make a twist. Follow that up with another pinch twist. And here you'll want to do a loop twist. It doesn't have to be real big but it's going to be the mouth of our pig. So we have a loop twist 
there. It's a little less than the palm of my hand. After that, we'll match this bubble. Bring it back to the other side where we started. We can break this off. on the bottom and a pinch twist on the top. Time for our third bullet. The third 260 we're going to inflate and leave five fingers of a tail or so. Um, you'll be breaking part of this off. Six, you could leave seven even. Um, we won't be using this whole bullet. Starting again, one of the pinch twists on the side. We're going to wrap this in. big loop twist after I make this one about the size of the palm of my hand maybe a touch bigger wrap it back into that pinch twist then you're going to want to turn the whole thing you want the pinch twist on the outside the ear on the inside and the loom coming on the inside you'll wrap the whole thing or you'll pull the whole thing down so that this balloon angles in just a little bit. Make a twist. And wrap that into the pinch twist at the top of the pinch twist. Next, you'll just want to do this in reverse. This ball is about four fingers wide, a little bit less. Pinch twist, loop twist, and then bring it back down. Twist it off and put it back into that other pinch twist on the other side. the rest of this, and this is why I say leave five or six um, at the end of our balloon here. Tie that one off. And it's time to get our last balloon. The last 260, we actually want to leave about six fingers of a tail. We only want to inflate this balloon two-thirds to three-quarters of the way, depending on how big your hands are. I have five and a bit. I'm going to let some air out to give myself a nice soft balloon to work with and a good six fingers of a tail. Start this one making another nice big loop twist. You want to be able to fit your four fingers in there. Squeeze that and make sure this one's really soft. Pull your nozzle through so it doesn't come undone. Make a small spacer bubble. Follow that up with two pitch twists. One.
take these two pinch twists and we will stick them up and into our loop twist. them so they stick a little bit out of the front and that will hold it in place. Make sure your nozzle gets tucked up into the back and this spacer bubble should be at the bottom. Your balloon should be coming out of the top at the two pinch twists. And get the hat and finish this up. We'll take our kite hat we're going to put a small spacer bubble off the back of this right at the very end of the nose there. Take that twist, I'm going to twist it right into that pinch twist that the mouth is coming off. Turn that pinch twist inside there so it goes across the top and the mouth is coming off of the bottom. Turn your nose so it's facing up. And the whole thing so it's facing forward. He was one to give me problems. Unruly little bit. Next, we connect this balloon from here to the top of our pig hat, that pinch twist in the very top. And we want to do that so it positions the snout up. Pull our ears up so they're straight. And it makes a nice triangle shape here for our eyes to go. So you make your twist. You can just tuck it right into that pinch twist. You don't even need to wrap it around. The rest of this balloon, squeeze out so you've got a nice soft piece here. Bend it down. And you will leave yourself about that much, or five fingers or so of balloon at the end. But you want it to be really, really soft. Filled all the way to the nozzle, but soft. And to do that, you can adjust the size of this piece here. This top crossbar makes no difference. If it's longer, you can pull it back and make it look like a fat pig. Now, what you want to do with this nice soft bubble at the end is twist a small round one there. Bring that whole thing up. Wrap it into that pinch twist. Pinch twist on one side. That little round bubble on the other side. Into the loop twist just a little bit there. And it gives you kind of the illusion of a little curly pigtail there at the back. After this, we just straighten up the ears. Pinch twists on the outside, and they'll hold the ears up and in place. Straighten up all of our bubbles here. And all we have to do is pump the eyes in them. All right, to do our eyes, we're just going to take a pair of five inch rounds, and we're going to inflate them to about three inches or three or four fingers there. And we're going to tie them together. I accidentally did them off camera. I'm not doing another set again. I think you can figure out how to tie two little round balloons together that are the same size. Now you'll take your rounds once they're tied together and in the back of our pig hat, this nice big triangle here, you can push one eye into it, and the other eye into it, and you just pull them the front on one side and the front on the other side and tension will hold them in place. They don't go anywhere. You can just 
draw uh, your pupils on with Sharpies, do a small circle and a big circle and color in between them. And you can reposition them if you need to. But that's about it for our picking. Have a great one.